Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne. Well, I went back to the barn sale for round two this past Monday, and I am so grateful that I went back. I was a little bit on the fence about it, but on a whim, I just went ahead and drove down there to Willow Springs. There was about, I think when I got there, about maybe three hours or so left in the sale. Weren't very many people there, but um, I scored. I think I got about 15 items and I spent $15. I'm going to save the best for last on this. So I'll show you um, everything that I picked up, but like I said, I'm going to save the best for last on it. And for those of you that are new to the channel, what I ask is that at the end of the video, go ahead and share in the comment section down below what your favorite find was from today's haul. And I will let you know what my favorite was. And if you do like thrift haul videos and you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any upcoming thrift haul videos. And if you end up liking the video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. So almost toward the end of the uh, of my go around, I found this vintage bag. I do like to pick up vintage bags. I have a small collection myself, but I also like to put them into my booth. This one was made in Japan. And it's just a nice little clutch. But surprisingly, I believe all of the beads are intact. And then also toward the very end of the sale, I picked up what I think is my very first piece of jadeite. And I think this is a restaurant uh, wear piece. It's very thick. It is from Fire King. And you might be able to make that out on the bottom if I get that glare just right. But anyway, I was pretty excited about this. I could only find one, but I was happy about the one because like I said, it's my first jadeite piece that I picked up. A couple of pieces of clear glass that I got. I have not done a Google lens search on this. Uh, but I'll bet you that that pattern does have a name and it is from like a Jeanette or something like that. But I do like it. It's probably maybe a little candy dish, but the clear glass does sell. So I was happy to find that. Found another lead crystal pitcher. This one is quite a bit smaller than the one that I picked up on my first trip to the barn sale. And then inside of it I put just a couple of random buttons that I found uh, I just grabbed this picture frame because if you recall from my first shopping trip to the barn sale I did pick up those two beautiful watercolors and they were in this same frame but you may not have noticed, but the interior frame, this oval piece here of one of them, was just a little bit um, dirty, but it was not a dirt that you could clean off. So I picked up this one because this interior frame here is in beautiful condition. So I'll be able to swap out the dirtied one for this one here and just make that other piece a lot more presentable picked up another baby doll. This one I thought I had picked up my first shopping trip at the at the barn sale, but I guess I'm obviously I put her down. But it's this pretty little does she have something? Might be a little broken piece inside of her head because I hear something kind of uh, jangling around there. Now this her little eyes do not open, but she has little ceramic hands and all of her fingers are intact. This one is dressed. The other two that I picked up the other day were not dressed, but she has all of her little toes. Um, she has a cloth body. Let's see. Now she was, um, yeah, she played music. She does not anymore, but she has a cute little 
like a little sleep dress on her. Pretty lace on her too. But I thought she was quite adorable. Oh, there is something on the back of her head, which of course I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell you what it says. But I picked her up too. Now, I don't know original from Repo Tins at all, but I did pick this Coca-Cola tin up. So again, I have no idea if this is an original, if it is a reproduction, there's no date on it. It does have some rusting on the back of that. It also has some rusting and crusting right there, as you can see, but that could happen to a reproduction too. So that to me does not, is not an indication that this is an old uh, vintage tin. But I thought it was pretty cool looking, and I think the rusting and crusting adds to that cool factor. Uh, I will have to put my glasses on and give it a, a much better look and see if I can find any kind of dates on it or something. But I still think it's a cool piece, and that will go up into the booth. This is a really cool, it almost looks like a little potty, <laughs> but this is a cool little planter. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to give this a little paint job just to freshen it up a little bit and then just stage it in the booth with a plant in the little potty chair here. Somebody made this because you can see at the bottom where they screwed in the pot here. I just think, I think it's adorable. And this sitting on somebody's front porch with a little uh, plant in it would look so, so cute. Maybe I'll even put, I think I will, I'll put a little transfer, a little floral transfer on the back of that, and that would make it look even cuter. I think that, that was adorable. These are really cool. I don't know if these are glass or lucite, this pair of candlestick holders. Now they did have, not much help now though, they had stickers on the bottom, but they are pretty well worn off. I'm gonna try Google Lens on these and see what I can find out. The color is like clear on the top and then there's a red, kind of a blue and might be another clear down here, but aren't they cool? I don't know if I would say they are Art Deco or a little bit of wax on them, but that'll come off really easily. Um, Mid-century modern? I don't know what era they are, they are from. But I was very happy that I found two of them. So I need to do a little bit of research on these before I put them into the booth because I want to mark them at a fair price for both myself and for the buyer. Now, the day that I was there, Monday, it was a... Oh, let me show you one more piece before I get into the frames. It was a really good day to pick up frames there. But I want to show you this piece first. They had quite a few, well, a number of suitcases there. But this one was in really good condition. It's a hardcover suitcase. It doesn't have a name on it or anything. The, it has the handle. It's a you know a little cracked and stuff, but it's an older piece. It needs to be cleaned up. It does open. Of course, I... Oh, come on. It wants to... Oh, there it goes. The inside of it needs to be cleaned out as well. The elastic on these little pieces here is dry rotted, but... You could stage this in your home really, really nicely, I think. You could do it open if you wanted, or you could use this and stack other suitcases on top of it and make this a side table. I think these hard, hard uh, suitcases like this have so many uses in a home for decor pieces. So I was really, really happy to find this one. The brass hinges are great. This is just a fantastic piece. Whoops. Come on. There we go. 
Now to the frames. It was a good day for frames. Found this one, which is very similar, but larger to uh, one that I showed you in my last video. It has the gold frame here, but the canvas on here, and then this is painted. That is not a canvas, that's a painting, painted up there. Now it's got some scratches over here, but I have a gold tipped um, pen that I can see if it will match that. If not, I think I might just leave it. If it, if it um, is not a really good match, I'm not gonna put it on because you know, this is an older frame, I believe. And I think, is this the one that's made in Mexico? Because there are, yeah, this is made in Mexico and it's a 10 by 20. And the buyer may not mind that. So we shall see. So I ended up getting five frames. And here is uh, another. This one is kind of a plain one, sort of a white washed wood frame. They're all wood. And then we have this gold one that has a little bit of decor or decoration around it with this beading here and then it has this little bit of ornateness in all four corners. Actually this one hangs that way. And then the last two have glass in them. And this is the same as the other one that I just showed you, except this one actually has the glass in it. So this is the 16 by 20 also um, made in Mexico. And then the last frame is another gold. with sort of a scalloped detail around the edge. And this one has a sawtooth hanger in the back and would hang this way. So I was pretty happy with, whoop, with the frames that I picked up. Okay, that is everything. So now I wish I had a drum roll. I couldn't believe this. This piece lasted all four days. I was down to a little less than two hours in the sale. I can't believe no one picked this up. I saw the box and I thought, okay, the box has to be empty. Then I picked up the box, it wasn't empty. I thought, okay, the piece has to be broken. So I, it was hard getting in the box because it was the original box packaged very well. I struggled to get it out. All the packages original. Um, I looked on the back of the box and it was priced at $283.50. The Fitz and Floyd piece in pristine condition. Thank God, not a nick, a chip, a scratch, a nothing, nothing on this. This is going to be put away until Christmas this year and go into my booth. I could not believe my luck. Pure, pure, dumb luck. I just can't believe it. And here is the box. Like I said, still in the box. Retailed $285.50. Thank you very much. It is called St. Nick C. 
Santa on Deer centerpiece. Um, let's see if it has a year on it. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't see here on the box. So I'll have to just do a Google search and see what year this was put out. If it's retired, or if you know if it's still. Um, being produced, but holy cow! So average everything out. That beautiful piece ended up costing me a dollar. If I if this was the only piece I picked up there, that would have just been a score. I, again, I cannot believe my luck on that. I am so thankful for that. So it obviously was worth going back. So. That is everything. I bet you can already guess what my favorite piece was. And it was this Fitz and Floyd piece. So if you would like, and I'd love to know what your favorite uh, find was from this haul, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. So I want to thank you all for watching this kind of midweek mini thrift haul. Um, I will be back again probably with another one. I have plans to go out thrifting um, this Saturday. So I hope to have something coming for you on Sunday. And until that time, everyone, please take very good care of yourselves. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.